Thank you, Jill. Well, today is World Down Syndrome Awareness Day, and I have two very special guests with me this morning, John and Mark Cronin, father and son, and they are co-founders of John's Crazy Socks and also strong advocates for people with special needs. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. I'm so happy you're here, John. I know that you came up with this idea with your dad for John's Crazy Socks. Tell me why you thought this was a good idea. What's the message behind John's Why socks? socks. I, as this message is, I, it's fun, mm. it's colorful, yeah. it's creative. I always remember being me. I want to create that my, my whole life. Mm -hmm. It was John's idea um, to start the business yeah. and was born out of necessity because he was finishing school and couldn't find anything to do. He couldn't find meaningful work, couldn't find a program right. he wanted, but he's a natural entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you couldn't find a job, what'd you say? I said, I want to create one, I want to make one. You came up with the idea yourself. You didn't need someone to tell you what to do. You had your own vision. Right, exactly. And, and what is our mission at John's Crazy Socks? Our mission is spreading happiness. Mm, and, spread happiness. And here is a really cool thing. Yeah. So we started in December of 2016. He had a dream. Today, how many different socks do we have? Today we have 4,000 different kinds of stock and many sources. <laughs> Which means John owns the world's largest sock store. How about that? Right? But here's, here's the other thing. Every day, we're trying to show what people with differing abilities can do. Mm -hmm. So more than half of our colleagues have a differing ability. And we want to show the world. So we're grateful we get this opportunity to share with people. We have to spread that awareness. We, we host tours and work groups. We do speaking engagements. Um, and today, where are you going to be? Uh, to, uh, to, today, I'm going to meet with uh, 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 le le uh, Lester. Legislators le at Auburn, in, right? At right, the state capitol. Yes, yes. Meeting with the state assembly. Yeah, I'm really excited. Right? And they'll be recognizing him for what he's been able to show the world on what is possible. And I know, you know, we're both parents of children with Down syndrome. I have a son who will be 13 coming up here pretty soon. And that message of just what's possible, I think, is so important. And I know that you also have a plan of talking about what you want to get done here, some legislative priorities, because there's a lot of misinformation out there about people with Down syndrome. So talk to me a little bit about that. Well, first, it's a mindset. Mm. Um, the big frontier that we see for people are jobs, housing, and community. Mm -hmm. So your son is receiving a great education. He is. And the health care, medical treatment is improved. But then you reach 21. And what do you do? What do you do? Exactly. So yeah. we've got to create jobs. And part of what we're showing is that hiring people with different abilities, it's not altruism. It's good business. We have a competitive advantage mm. because we hire people with different abilities. And we want that message to get out to other employers as well as to policymakers. So we're advocating changes that will support the rights of people with different ability Wonderful. to enable them, make it easier to get jobs, and to retain their earnings. Right, and better wages too. Right. We could talk forever about this. I appreciate your time so much. You inspire me as a parent of a child with special needs to show the world what's possible, what our kids can do. And John, you're an inspiration as well. John and Mark, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day at the State Capitol today. Keep spreading the word. Keep spreading thank the word. Thank you. Hey, put in a plug. Go ahead, real I, quick. I will go at johncrazysocks.com. <laughs> you can get your socks too.